I'm always a sucker for an idiosyncratic ukulele company, and this one takes the biscuit. Keep watching. Yeah, it's got a ukulele review day again, and it's a brand that I've featured before. I've had a soft spot for them for years because they're idiosyncratic and they do things their own way. The brand is called Bruco, uh, a German brand um, that has been in existence for over 100 years, making ukuleles, the business being passed down through the family, and they're still going and they still do things their way. And this is the Bruco All Walnut Soprano. Um, <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Bruco, uh, yeah, German brand, currently under the tutelage of Hubert Pfeiffer uh, in Germany. Um, and I've reviewed them before. I've reviewed things like the Model 6 Soprano, which is one of those ukuleles that I think all ukulele players should own at some point. I've reviewed their tenor, the tenor with the body size of a concert and a neck like a Soprano, Bruco. Um, and they're not for everybody, but I love them because they kind of, they are their own thing. And they're all handmade in a very, very small workshop in Germany um, by the Bruco team. And they do things their own way. They've got quite a range of instruments in sopranos, concerts, tenors, long necks. There's a baritone. I've never seen a Bruco baritone. And they come in two kind of flavours. They come in the standards, which are things like the Model 5 and 6, which is just mahogany. And then they move up and they have a, a, another tier above them, which are, I wouldn't call them specials or customs, but they, they use more exotic wood types, um, that kind of thing. Um, and this one is one of those because this is made of walnut, not mahogany. Uh, and within that, there's also other specs. They do thinner bodies, bodies that are flat on the back, bodies that are arched. But let's just get into it. Have a look at the Bruco website. You'll, you'll get the picture. This is all solid walnut. And I shared some pictures as a sneak peek on this and people were thinking this was a Maya Moe or something like that or even a Martin um, because it is really, really beautiful. It's bookmatched uh, on the top. It's single piece sides and then you've got this insanely curved arch back which is beautifully bookmatched too. Um, the curve on the back there principally for strength but also helps with volume projection uh, and volume. Um, and like all Brucos, uh, it's just impeccably made. I've not seen other, unless you're going up into the real high-end Hawaiian stuff, because uh, we'll come on to the price of this a bit later, but I've not seen accuracy of builds like Brucos in anything other than Kawea. They're that kind of absolutely supremely accurate instruments. And there is not a flaw on this anywhere. All the edges are just really tactile. It's lovely to hold. Finished in a satin, which sets it off. Uh, the bridge there, walnut, slot style, um, which is nice, extremely tidy, and a really small diminutive um, saddle. They don't specify what that material is, so I don't know. It's not compensated. That's nice to see, actually, because the original Brucos had the saddle was integral. It was part of the wood of the bridge itself, which was a bit of a pain if you wanted to drop the, um, the action because you'd have to sand the bridge. This has got a removable saddle. No other decoration, and I wouldn't want any other decoration on wood looking like this, other than the sound hole rosette, and it's really nice. A look inside, absolutely neat and tidy. No back bracing because you don't need it, but there's top bracing. The linings are not notched, and I'm not gonna be able to show you this. Oh, I am you get the Bruco name stamped, branded on the back. And what I really like about it, and is a mark of how old this company is, is that the brand that they still use for branding their instruments says, made in West Germany, pre-unification. Uh, but they're a lot older than that, in fact. There we are. Okay, up to the neck. And they do this in a slightly cheaper, straight up walnut neck model, which is really nice. But this is, uh, a, sorry, a maple neck model, which is really nice. This is all walnut. Uh, but it's actually in pieces of walnut of different colours um, to give you that skunk stripe which runs all the way through because you'll see it on the front of the headstock and I think that's beautiful. Uh, Bruco necks are always really comfortable I find and it's got a nice sort of flattened profile, nice sort of glassy feel to it and a really comfortable 35.5 at the nut and 29 from G to A so that's really nice. Standard. 12 frets, uh, standard soprano, no extended fingerboard, and that's made of walnut too. Uh, that's lovely, really nice. Outward dots, black, th uh, third, fifth, seventh, and third, fifth, seventh, tenth, 
no, not at the 12th, but I suppose it's your last fret space, so you know where it is. Sadly, never with Bruco will you get side dots. I think that's a real shame. That's really easy for them to fit. Okay, like other Brucos, the nut is made of wood uh, and is set really nicely. I love the way this fingerboard extends above the nut, so the nuts kind of sits with it into the fingerboard rather than abutting to it. Better pictures on the review below. And at the headstock with a crown, you see the continuation of the skunk stripe, which I think looks absolutely wonderful. The tuners are pretty entry level uh, frictions. Uh, this is something Brooke always fit and I'm not a fan of. They're easily changed um, and I would change them and I'm gonna change them because I bought this for myself because I like Bruco so much. So I will change that. Um, so that's a complaint, uh, but not a big one. Uh, and the other thing that I always um, don't understand with Bruco is the strings they fit because they fit these with uh, pyramid carbons and I, i've never met anyone who likes pyramid strings and i don't like these they're kind of it's a low attention to them and they're kind of a bit floppy on the fingers uh, i'll be changing these out for something like martin uh fluorocarbon something like that with a bit more snap to them um i use that word advisedly um but you know i think it's an absolute stunner price um it's quite a lot more to get these models than the standard model sixes which are about 120 pounds by the time you got them into the uk so you pay more for these other woods and things like the the curvy arch backs and skunk stripes and things like this this came in at um 285 euros um and that was uh, that comes in at about 240 pounds which isn't a bad price for any soprano that's handmade but bear in mind you've got shipping on top of that and potentially if you're shipping outside of the eu as we will be soon um you'll be paying duty perhaps on that some sort of import tax depending on where you are so just check your pricing before you go but still i got this for about 285 uh, with a bit of shipping on top and I think that's a good price for a handmade, uh, non-Chinese instrument. Um, I mean, it's a factory build, but it's it's a very small factory. It's just Hubert uh, and his wife, I think. Um, so I'm more than happy to pay that sort of price for an instrument like that. And the build is just staggeringly good. Oh, I should have said, when you buy one of these non-standard ones, they also throw in a padded gear bag. It's, it's not much to write home about, but it's all right. It keeps the dust off. Um, and there we are. Um, as I say, build is impeccable. It's extremely light, as a soprano should be. It's extremely well balanced. It's really lovely to hold. Uh, I'll just check the tuning with the strobe. Um, and those um, frictions can be a bit of a pain. But I think it's in tune because I was playing it a little bit earlier. Bit of a tweak on the E. don't like the strings and one of the things other things I don't like about the strings apart from the kind of feeling a bit floppy is I don't think they give the, the best volume out of this instrument I had this with the model 6 and I put some other strings on it and it really really loud uh, increased the volume um, I like the tone and it's quite a warm tone for a soprano it's really ringing on the sustain And it's got a good punch even though I'm saying the volume isn't that, that hard, but it's an attack fingers in these floppy strings
I do love it. Uh, I'm going to be changing the strings now. As you know, I always review these with the stock strings to give you a feel for what you're going to get, and string choice is personal. Uh, but I am going to change them. I'll probably change the tuners too. But look, it, this is a stunning looking instrument. It's impeccably well made. And I think the price is decent and fair too for an instrument that's handmade like this. Um, Bruco, uh, all walnut soprano with the funky arch back. Uh, made in Germany, uh, nothing imported and certainly not an Amazon instrument. Uh, as I keep saying, I think everybody who likes the ukulele should own a Bruco at some point. You owe it to them. Um, you know, support the heritage of that brand. Um, this is a cracker. I'm really pleased with this. Right, back next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. See you very soon.